welcome to another episode of Cyber Secrets. We're going to walk through how to make a manual, logical copy of an iPad or iOS device using the Lib iMobile device suite. This is going to make an iTunes backup yeah, that you could use to restore if you wanted to, but in this case we're just trying to get the contents off that mobile device. First we're going to do is prep the environment. So we're making a case series over one, going into that case folder, and then making a folder in there called image. That's where we're going to dump our image to here in a minute. But the cool part about uh, Lib iMobile device is it does have a few extra modules. Uh, one that I find very useful is going to be the iDevice info. You can actually get some really good content off that uh, the iOS device uh, to keep a good record. Basically what you're doing, I use the T command. What the T command does is it grabs the uh, responses from the application and instead of just putting it to the console or putting it to a file, it puts it to both. It forks it to the console and to a file so you can keep your, your record straight. So at this point, I'm going to do my device info. I'm going to T it to a file called iPad.txt. Go to enter. And now we have all the content in this nice little file. We can come back later. But as we can see, the content that we do see, it looks like uh, this iPad does not have telephony capability. Um, we're also looking at, we have the, the, the version of the device. We have MAC address of the Bluetooth, hardware model. We also have serial number. And at the very bottom here, we have this unique device ID. Um, this unique device ID is extremely important because this is going to be the folder that gets created when we start uh, uh, doing the backup. So this is same thing with an iTunes backup when you saw that uh, very long number. That's what we're going to see here. So go ahead and close out of this one. Another one I do like, there's one called, instead of iDevice Info, Installer. Installer allows you to install or uninstall applications off the iDevice. But the other cool part is you can also list the apps. This can actually come in handy in the future. So two things we could do with T is we can actually spin this uh, installer information and put it in the same file or we can start another one. Right now I'll just put it in the same file. So we're going to have all the unique information and then right after the, the Wi-Fi address, MAC address, we're going to start seeing the installed apps. So this does take a minute or so. Uh, the Mac up's going to take a lot longer, but uh, we'll see the results here in a minute for that one. But we can see this uh, application does have some games on it. It has uh, media. It has uh, stuff related to VPNs, remote connections, um, social media, and uh, drone software. Okay. And it looks like this is a great uh, iPad to be working with for uh, year 2020. Going back to this, I'll go ahead and clear this. We'll double left click on iPad.txt, just double check, make sure everything did get dumped into there, and it did. So that's good. So now we have all kinds of good information for that specific device for our case, in case we need to go back and look for other things with potentially even other tools. We're going to use uh, another one. It's called iDevice Backup. And we already created a file in here called image. That's where we're going to be dumping our image to. But this I did want to take a quick minute to explain. There's two iDevice backups in here. iDevice backup is for iOS's all the way up to iOS 4. And iDevice backup 2 is for 4 and beyond. So we're definitely going to want to use this because that uh, iPad is running uh, was it iOS 11 something. So here we're going to do dash D. What we're going to want to do is backup. You can actually do U back to reverse this. And then we're going to do a full. Remember, this is going to be a logical copy. And instead of case, we're going to go into image. So as soon as I enter, it's checking to see if this uh, image folder is here. Now it's starting to pull the content directly off that iDevice. This does take a while. This is time that uh, you, you want to get some coffee, get lunch, <laughs> potentially go home for the night, depending on how big the iPad is. 
um, or the device uh, and whatever cable that you have. The slower the cable, of course, that's going to um, slow down the communications back and forth. So it's best to be able to test your cable, make sure everything's good to go, things in that area. But uh, we're going to wait just a little bit. It should get past this device, not ready. There we go. And now we wait. So I did actually just pause the video there, got some caffeine, came back, and it took about 15 minutes. We can see down here it looks, it also built the uh, status P list, the manifest P list, and the manifest.db. So that content is going to be in this folder, and here we see that unique ID we were talking about before. Uh, starts with the 13 E4, ending in AA4 in this one. And then scroll down a little bit further, and now we see the info P list, manifest, DB, manifest P list, and status P list. Each one of these folders, though, they're going to contain some uh, contents related to the uh, device. What's interesting about this is these are actually hashes of the file instead of the original file name. The nice part about Linux, though, is it takes contents from the, the header and the footer so it knows that this is a JPEG, even though there's no JPEG extension. Right click. Go to properties, and we see there's no extension at all to this file, even though it is a PNG image. At this point, we've just created a logical uh, recovery backup for this side device. So let's say you want to go one step further. Fortunately, with uh, iLib Mobile, it does not convert it into a humanly readable section unless you have a forensics tool that will read this for you. Um, you could use autopsy, start carving the data. There's also tools like uh, Bulk Extractor. So at that point, you can see a lot of good content with those two tools. If you didn't want to use those tools and just wanted a, um, a quick view of this, this will take a while. But again, hook up the right blocker. But instead of doing backup, you do unpack. And then you just wait. And now this makes a folder called Unback. Again, it is still going. It's going to take a while. But it is making it to where it's humanly readable content. But what I definitely suggest before ever going to this route would be bringing that original folder, this one here, and then just pulling it into uh, Autopsy either autopsy or uh, bulk extractor, pretty good tools. And then you'll be able to uh, look at content with inside the, the device, like uh, EXIF information for the pictures, things in that area. But in a nutshell, that's imaging an iOS device.